that if seven people are sitting on a judgment or a decision and there is a dissenting voice, why didn't the chairman tell Kenyans exactly what happened? That we conducted this election, we came to the National Tiring Center, we have these results, but some of the colleagues have a dissenting voice. They will tell the Kenyans why they are dissenting. Um, I know that uh, the events of uh, 15th August are in our minds, but remember that there was an extra day by which Mr. Chebukati could have uh, declared the result. Why did he not wait until that day? Violence or no violence, perhaps you have another reason. Reach out to the commissioners, the four that uh, are now named the four. Try and reach a consensus. Um, address the question of the 27 uh, constituencies so that these suspicions that have now cropped up uh, would not have been an issue. Is there any other reason why he did not take advantage uh, uh, of the extra day uh, to do what he had to do. Another thing that worries us, and I think your team should answer, is why the streaming, the live streaming of the results stopped. Because if Kenyans were able to follow the streaming, from the beginning to the end, which was being done in the spirit of accountability and stability and uh, transparency, then the rhyme which we were being told of the pige pige ponki would not arise because there would have been no confusion. We know this is how things are happening. And therefore, maybe the losing candidate who is being called to go to, um, to the National Tiring Center can decide not to go because they know already the results they are on the, on the screen. And you do know that the drafters of the Constitution introduced independent commissions and independent offices to deal with issues of authoritarianism, accountability, transparency and to do away with the issue of one person having power. But from the narrative that we're hearing here in the court, there appears to be an all-powerful chair. Who, uh, uh, and I'm, so, so what is a check for this all-powerful chair if the commissioners uh, have nothing to do with his role? What would happen if the chair was to announce the wrong results completely. Because in King Solomon's story, the protagonists were distinguished mothers. But here, you called them two gentlemen. But I also remember uh, that one of the mothers who turned out, or the mother claimants, who according to Solomonic wisdom could not have been the mother, it's the one who was saying, cut the baby. But the other one, I remember, said, no, let her take, let her take the baby. Because what she was interested in is to preserve the baby. Would you be willing to advise? <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs>